everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am so sorry it's taken so long for me to um, bring you another video we were away for the majority of the summer holiday and then um, as soon as the, the children got back to school i then had to go back out to work obviously and then um one week later my son is home with covid and yesterday we found out that my um my husband has now got covid as well so um it's been a little bit of a roller coaster we're trying to fit clients in um, and as many of you know who subscribe to this um, my permanent job is that of a stylist so I'm not just an influencer that comes on and does videos so um, my normal job has to take precedent but I will always bring you a video as soon as I have a spare few days um, and given that both of them are at home for 10 days I'm gonna have a few days to do this sort of thing again so that's brilliant so today's video is going to be a transitional video on how to take your summer wardrobe into um, the winter months. It's how to dress appropriately for um, days that, like today, started off really quite dismal and now um, beautiful sunshine outside. So I'm going to go through a series of tips with you and um, so let's get started. So tip number one is to make sure that your wardrobe includes some leather items. That can, that can be faux leather, it doesn't have to be real leather. Um, so that's leather pants and that could be sort of a tapered uh, paper bag style like I've got on right now. Um, it could be a pleather legging, it could be a leather coat. What the leather does, it's a heavier weight fabric that can really easily be paired with very, very simple summer items. Um, or even in the case of what I've got on today, if I take a few steps back, so these are the trousers that I've got on and this is a slightly heavier weighted jumper from um, Zara. Can you see that knit if I get closer up? Um, I bought this in a size large because I wanted it a little bit baggier. Um, but this is a great transitional piece because it's still relatively cool. I could put a long sleeve um, top underneath this ready for the winter. But when I just pair it with some more summery coloured mules and this leather, then it looks appropriate for a day like this. And the key here is to make sure that if your leather trousers in this state in in this case are your staple then you want to make sure that the items you're pairing it with so namely the top and your shoes and maybe a jacket you stick to lighter colors and lighter weights as well so let me just show you a few a few alternatives of how this could work for the different types of weathers Okay, so swapping things up a little bit, all I've paired it with now is a very plain white t-shirt and I've picked up my summer sort of beach bag, step back a little bit, I've just got some um, Birkenstocks on from, um, where are they from, so they're from Jigsaw. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing this heavier weighted trouser, but by pairing it with the lighter, more summery pieces, it keeps me appropriate for today's um, weather. So I'll just pick up a little blazer as well. So often when we leave the house first thing in the morning, it can be a little bit nippy. Again, I've gone for... So here is a linen blazer. This one is just from Zara. So... Once again, I'm pairing a lighter, more summery item with the heavier winter trousers. And as you can see, it does all work. Now, perhaps it might be raining outside, so the Birkenstocks aren't quite appropriate, but I've just got here a mule that I could swap it up for. Um, and if the weather was like this today, rather than going for my full back mule, I'd probably put the open back mule on instead. And um, again, look more appropriate for a, a warmer day, but still appropriate for the weather. Building upon that look again, this time I have added a long trench coat Every wardrobe needs a trench coat and because it's light in nature but will, uh, light in fabric but will still um, look appropriate if it's raining outside. Again, it allows you to keep the lighter colours underneath, also the lighter fabrics, the heavier 
um, weighted trouser and still look appropriate. So even if it was raining outside right now, um, but then went more summery in the afternoon, I could still get away with that whole look. And if a trench coat isn't exactly your style, then don't forget about a long cardigan. So I've changed my shoes for, again, some summery little um, heels. They're just from Zara. I've kept the white t-shirt on to keep that sort of lightness uh, about it. But for the extra warmth, I've just put on a long cardigan. Now, hopefully you've noticed there with the blazer, the cardigan, the trench coat and all the shoes, they were all in the same colourway. And that's what allows you to get this transitional wardrobe and make it appropriate for every weather condition. If I had only got a navy cardigan, a red trench coat, a green pair of shoes, then you're not going to be able to swap it about so easily. So having multiple items, but in different weighted fabrics and for different, um, different styles, you're going to really be able to swap and change based on the weather. So that is the key to working a transitional so just before we move on from the leather trousers, I just wanted to show you another way that you could style them and also a different type of um, faux leather trousers. These ones are from So Sander. They were £40. Um, I think they had 20% off. I paired them again with a lighter shoe, a lighter um, blazer, the same linen blazer from, blaze, from um, Zara. But this time I put them with this um, jumper from H&M. Um, I will link everything by the way for you. So don't be afraid to put your heavier knits with your lighter weights, with your lighter shoes, but the darker foundation piece in the middle. Um, I think they work really well and even sort of on a day like this with sunglasses, despite you having what you would traditionally think as uh, winter trousers, the whole look works really well. My next tip for you would be to add some um, structured tailoring to your wardrobe. So that could be some tailored trousers, it could be a tailored blazer, um, and we don't have to go for really rigid structured um, fabric. Go for still more fluid, lighter, thinner fabric, but in a structured um, style. So today, for example, I have got on these um, sort of man style 90s trousers. They are from Zara and I've just paired it with this um, tighter top. I've also paired it just with some trainers. So for that sort of casual look, um, I do find that if I've got a baggier trouser on and I put it with a baggier top, it makes me look bigger all over. So um, my rule for myself and often for clients with similar shapes is this, if you go baggier on the bottom, go tighter on the top. Um, but let me just show you, I'll just grab this jacket here. So it's back to the point about the leather. Um, because the weather, as you've already seen during this video, it went from gorgeous sunshine to now looking a little bit overcast. But if I've got a leather jacket, that makes for a great autumnal type of outfit, whereby I could take my um, jacket off if the weather goes warmer. So my next tip is not to forget about your summer outfits. Oh, sorry, we've got mango in the background now, um, not to forget about your summer dresses or your summer skirts. So um, this is a little dress from, um, yes, hello mango, this is from Jigsaw um, back in the summer. Sweet little dress, I've paired it at the moment with some trainers, but um, I could pick up a blazer which I've got right here. Notice I'm rolling up the sleeves. When you do roll up the sleeves, it kind of makes your waist look smaller. Um, and straight away, I'm ready for a day like today, where it's a little bit cooler, but I could take the jacket off if I wanted. But you don't need to stop there at um, a blazer. There's lots of ways of um, making this dress look a lot more autonomous. 
autumnal even. Um, so let's try changing some things up and I'll show you some combination. So I've just built this outfit up a little bit more. I have paired it with the um, knitted vest jumper from H&M and then put on my leather over the top. Kept my trainers on for now and then I could easily take that off if the weather goes a little bit nicer. Needs a little bit of jigging around to make it work. But then you've got a fantastic autumnal outfit using one of your summer dresses. So my next tip is all about layering. Layering has to be one of the easiest things that you can do to make your, work, your wardrobe work really hard for you um, for this transitional period. So um, I've literally just got a pair of jeans and a little white top on. Just take a step back. I've actually got some Zara um, boot cut jeans on at the moment. So this could just be a plain white t-shirt, um, a normal pair of blue, blue um, jeans. All I'm going to start off with is a cardigan. You cannot say that is complicated, <laughs> yet it can still look really stylish for the right weather. This one is from H&M, from their premium um, range, so I will link that below but sometimes the cardigan isn't right so this is where we just pull out our trench coat and I just simply put the trench coat over the cardigan definitely isn't any rocket science here from a styling point of view but the reason it's all working is because pressing this point again all of my layering pieces are very very similar colors so it doesn't need to be a cardigan, I could switch to something like, like this. I'm reusing all the pieces that I've already used so far, just to show you how they go just as well with jeans as they do um, with the, the trousers. Okay, but instead of the trench coat this time, I'll pick up a blazer and that looks just as nice as well. Or maybe a shacket is more your thing. So shacket being half jacket, half um, shirt. These are great, they were really, really thick. Um, I think the key for these is to picking one with um, nice tonal colours in again. The tonal light colours will be appropriate to a nicer day like this, but they've still got the level of warmth in them. Keep it simple underneath with a white top. That's a really nice addition. I'd probably wear this with trainers rather than a little um, shoe for a lot more of a relaxed look. So the final thing I'd like to talk about today is jogging pants. We've all been living in them. I'm sure we're all missing them. And here's a few ideas of how I've been styling mine to make them more appropriate for this transitional weather. So this pair here are a wide legged pair from Zara. And I've brought out that white jumper again from Zara. Um, I like it if you just tuck in the front bit there. Again, it's going to elongate uh, the legs. Sorry if you can't see that because of the doggies all in the way. Um, again, I kept the coloring light because of the summery weather. Um, I could easily just add a leather jacket to this outfit and it would look appropriate first thing in the morning for the school run like that so just select your lighter pieces or maybe some brighter nicer sort of fun colors in fact i have some brighter color jogging pants which i will go and put on now and show you how you can make them work during this transitional period and here's some brighter alternatives, but great for a day like this, comfy. Again, I've just kept this white jumper on and the reason I keep keeping this on is to show you that if you've got a neutral jumper like this, that's slightly summery, it literally does go with everything. I'm not sure if I look like um, I'm trying to be like Sporty Spice in these or not, but I like them and they're still a little bit of fun for a brighter day like this. 
another pair of bright trousers to show you. These are my sort of pink, um, silky joggers that I tend to dress up a little bit, or for the weather um, that we're about to experience, all I would do is add a jumper like this. And finally, you've got these um, Fanta ones from Zara that are a little bit of a nod to the 90s again, but nice, bright, vibrant um, blue. The They've Fanta got... on the back um, oh, and on the front there. And they are more of your traditional style, which I've just paired with a little um, trainer right now. Uh, but I could easily put my trench coat over this, I could put um, a long jacket as well and make it even more appropriate for the transitional weather. So that's the end of the video and um, thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful. So that's the end of the video and um, thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful and if you have and could press that subscribe button or the thumbs up button I would be most grateful. If you have any comments please put them in the box, um, I do try and get back to everybody as soon as possible. Thank you.